Oh my God. I won, I won, I won. I'm the Pilates trainer of the year. So some of you might be curious how I actually won the award, right? How I actually, how I'm able to get the trust from the judges and for the uh, people who have voted for me to win this competition. So I'm going to tell you this in this video. Coach Jojo IFBB Pro. I help dedicated individuals who have difficulty achieving their dream body by giving you the tips and tricks in fitness. So if you like my channel, make sure you click on the subscribe button as well as the notification button. So every time when I upload a video, you will get notified. And make sure you like this video and share this video out to all your friends. So recently, I won the Pilates Trainer of the Year 2021. It's organized by Fitness Best Asia. So I'm really, really proud of my achievement. Um, so I want to take this opportunity to thank all of you who have supported me, who have voted for me and give me all the love throughout my journey as a Pilates instructor. Um, not to forget also, I want to congratulate two of my friends, uh, which is Yvonne and Mary for winning the first runner-up and also second runner-up. So congratulate for, to all of you as well. First of all, the judging criteria for this uh, fitness award is by 40% by voting and 60% by the judges. They have official judges uh, on the Fitness Best Asia that side. So the voting is 40% judging is 60 percent um i'm not sure you know how many votes i get but i do know that a lot of people actually supported me so once again i'm going to thank everybody uh, who have voted for me so in this video i'm going to tell you how i actually win this competition by you know some of the traits and things that i do to get the trust from people okay so the first thing i'm going to tell you is understanding the clients I think this is probably the most important thing when it comes to me training my client. Every day before I start my class, I will always ask my client, how do you feel today? Do you have any pain today? Do you have any injury? Okay, these are some qualifying questions before I start my class. It's very important to get the answer because then you know how to plan for that class itself. And another very important question is also to ask the clients, uh, especially when they are first time joining your class, right? You have to ask them, is this your first time? Do you have any experience in, in that exercise before? Or do you have any experience in other form of exercises? Are you an, are you an active person? So on and so forth. These questions are very, very important. Um, another very important is about injury because especially in Pilates, right? We have a lot of clients come for Pilates because they have certain type of, certain kind of pain and injury. That's why it's very important to understand, you know, what kind of injury they have and then are they still currently having any pain or not? Or is there any movement makes them feel uncomfortable? All these are very, very important. The second thing that I usually do is analyze every single detail. Every single second and moment when I am in the studio or the gym with my client, I am always analyzing the client, like the way, how they react to the exercises, how they feel, how they actually move. I have to analyze everything in detail. Okay, so I always ask questions when I'm conducting my sessions. I always ask them, how you feel? Do you feel 
uh, which muscle parts, muscle group do you feel? Okay, if they are not achieving the muscle, the result that I want, then I will quickly, um, you know, give them more cue or even change the exercise so that I can get the result that I want for them. Okay, so I always, always analyze and ask them how you know they feel and make sure that exercise is suitable for that person because there's no one exercise that is suitable for everybody everybody needs something different and everybody reacts very differently with different exercises so i always always ask questions and analyze and i really like to analyze the way my client move because the way you move actually tells a story it really tells me about your lifestyle you know uh, the kind of job you have you know and how active you are i can actually understand by the way of your posture by the way you move so i always analyze that i can literally tell you that you know by looking somebody's body the way they stand the way they sit the way they move i can actually guess what type of job they have yeah so this is uh, by experience once you have a lot of experience then you will start you know um able to sense all this stuff and analyze all this stuff so this is one of the tricks that i use whenever i train my clients the third thing i do is focus a lot a lot of focus to my clients like whenever i have a session with my client usually my session is around like 50 minutes to one hour session i make sure in that one hour i pay 100 percent attention to my clients that is very important so that you know it's, it's very important to analyze like i say analyze every single detail if i'm not focused i'm not able to analyze my client i will be just giving exercises and letting the clients do it um, without achieving the result that i want them to achieve yeah I've seen a lot of trainers and clients out there who are not there. They are just not there. Okay, they just give you the exercise and then that's all, right? They will be dreaming, they will be looking somewhere else, they'll be thinking some other things. But when I am tra training my client, I literally like look at the client like this is a piece of art. I'm thinking how am I going to sculpt every single detail of it and I keep talking all the time there's not even a few moments there's not even more than five seconds that I'm not talking I'm constantly talking during that one hour I'm talking it's not like I'm like gossiping or just a random talk I'm always constantly giving cues to my client that's how focused I am with my clients the next thing is very important which is give your client the care and attention you really have to give the care sometimes your clients come to you not just because they want to improve their health or you know get a better body be more flexible and all these body goals sometimes it's not just that when i often see my clients coming to my class as a way to escape their life like literally to escape uh, the stress from their job the stress from the family so on and so forth okay so as a personal trainer as a pilates instructor i always give a lot of care for my clients i often talk to them as though i'm their closest friend they will always tell me what's happening in their life because let me tell you this every single thing that happened in their life can affect the way they respond to the class and to the exercises if they had having they had a very bad day at work okay they just finished work they are very stressful because they had a very bad day then i cannot expect them to be 100% when they are in my class so therefore I will not give them super difficult exercises because if they're not focused they might risk injuring themselves right I rather give them something that is easier for them to do it's manageable challenging enough uh, but it's not something that is new so that they don't do not 
risk hurting themselves. At the same time, I always talk to them to create that connection with my client and make them feel like they can trust me. This is something that is very important. Be attentive, be caring towards the client. The next thing I want to talk about is I place a lot of importance in the basic training. A lot, a lot of importance. Like to me, if you start a class without getting the basic, you are basically like, you know, you're, you're risking every single thing. Yeah, I believe, this is my belief, okay? You can believe something else. This is my belief that every single time before I, when I start my class, I always get them to do all the basic movements so that the body start connecting itself. I have seen instructors and trainers who straight away give the clients some very difficult exercise. From the beginning to the end, they are all very challenging exercises. I don't, I don't want to criticize, I don't want to say it's not good, but that is not the way I do it. I always like to start with the basic. Okay, no matter how advanced you are, I will always start with the basic. I want to make sure you get the basic correctly because this is what I believe. If, if you are doing the exercise properly, if you are connecting your mind-muscle connection, no matter how simple the exercise is, you will feel the muscles working. So like to practice the basic is like testing your brain, testing your mind, testing your muscles that you know what you are doing. Okay? So I always like to practice basics even till today. I when I train myself, I always like to do the basic exercises. Because if I can feel my muscle when I'm doing all the basics movements, which means my mind body connection it is very good. Continuous learning is also very, very important because we need to constantly upskill ourselves. Okay? Things are always changing. There's always something new every single day. So we need to keep learning. So therefore, every year I will make sure I you know, study a course, you know, or learn something new online so that I can upgrade myself. So whenever I see a client or um, I, you know, like I, I learn something new, I can apply it to my client. Okay, that is very important. And, you know, continuous learning is not just by the books, it's also by experience. So I try to experience with as many things as possible. That's why I am a Pilates instructor. I get my, I became a personal trainer and I get myself involved in bodybuilding and winning bodybuilding competition because I want to learn. I want to learn everything so that I can give the best value to my clients. Okay, so I encourage everybody to continuous learning. Sharing experience is also very very important now i never thought that this is something important but recently i really feel like this is very important so you as a trainer as an instructor you must always share your experience to your clients okay like what do i mean by sharing experience it can be an experience that you have experienced before or while you're training your clients or just sharing experience through YouTube just like this, okay? The more you share your experience and your value, the more people are going to trust you. So this is how I was very surprised also. Like some of my clients recently, they came, came and tell me that, you know, Joe, I really like you a lot because you keep sharing values and you you know tell us about your experience and your experience with your clients it makes me trust you more so i do encourage all the trainers out there to do so share your experience 
with your clients and even on social media. The last thing that I do very different from other people is actually the way I plan uh, the program for my client. Okay, so after I analyze my clients and all this stuff, right, knowing them, you know how their body works, how to improve them, usually we'll create a plan for our client, right? How the way I create a plan, plan for my client is actually very different from a lot of people. I know a lot of instructors or trainers like to fix a program and then they will just uh, uh, apply the program to the client. I usually do not have a fixed plan. I like a flexible plan for my client. Obviously, I already understand my client, already analyze, analyze my client, so I know what my client needs already. So I will have a rough idea in my mind about what I am going to do during my session. But I will not fix it. Yeah, I know some instructors like to fix everything from A to Z, but I don't like to do that because not every single exercise is suitable for the client. Yeah, not every single one because every body reacts differently with different exercises. So therefore, I like to always test them. Okay, I give one exercise to them. I always ask, how do you feel? Do you feel this part of the muscles? Um, you know, do you feel tired? Do you feel this is too easy? Then I will keep changing and developing the program the exercises from there so i do not have a very fixed plan i like it to be very flexible so that allows me to be very creative also when i'm training with my client i'm always constantly thinking about new things uh, new exercises i want to do for my clients so here are some extra points for those trainers who want to uh, win an award just like me right what you should be doing now, I want to tell you a few points here. Number one, be just be confident, okay? I tell you, I can tell you that I am not the best. I'm not the best instructor, but I won the award because I'm confident, okay? And I won it, you know, because of why? Because I went to register for it, okay? I went to register, open an account, and just put my name inside. I was just trying my luck, okay? Don't be afraid. Don't be shy. You want to give value to people. You must have confidence. And you know that by earning, uh, by, by getting this award, you are going to be able to give more value to more people. So do it. Okay. So when you, if you're planning to get like the awards like this, you know, best trainer of the year, best Pilates tra uh, trainer of the year, or best yoga instructor of the year, or best gym of the year, or blah, 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 all this award. All you need to do right now is just go and register. You know, just look in from the internet, which award you want to join. And just when the time they, op by the time they open the registration, just register yourself. Okay, it's as simple as that. You just need to give yourself a chance. Go and do it. The next thing is very important is also keep sharing. Keep sharing value on your social media because I think that's how I gain the trust from a lot of people. I can tell you this, a lot of people who voted for me, they're not my clients. They are my friends. They are some of some strangers that I do not know but follow my social media. Okay, they supported me because I constantly give them value. Okay, that will help you to get more votes. And all this, all this value that you share, the judges can see it. Because how the, ju the judges actually judge you, right? Nowadays, through what? It's through social media only. Right? And now is we're having a lockdown in Malaysia right now for the past four or five months. I'm pretty sure the judges didn't come to for my class because none of the classes are open. Okay, we're only doing private session. I'm only doing online Zoom session. I'm pretty sure the judges didn't come into my class. But what they how they judge is through social media. So if you want to get yourself, earn yourself all this award share more on social media so the question of the day i want to know what you think tell me in your opinion 
what is a good trait of a good instructor or a good trainer let me know okay so that we all can learn together maybe i can apply some of um, the answers into my own personal journey as well and of course if you like some of the tips that i tell you you can always comment down below let me know how what you think about it so that's all for today's session talking about how i actually won my award as a pilates trainer of the year 2021 once again i am very very grateful for winning this award but i cannot do this without your support so please continue to support me so that i can give you more value okay make sure you subscribe to my channel right now click on the notification button the like button share it to your friends and family um, every sunday i will post um, a new video okay so please stay tuned and watch my video for those of you who are interested in joining my classes um, feel free to click on the link down below i put down i will put down a link at the description below you can connect with me either on my social media or i actually giving out a 30 minutes free consultation you can come and talk to me during the free consultation um, then you know we can decide on what to what was next for you all right thank you so much everybody for watching this video to till the end and i will see you next week